Staff at a non-surgical treatment clinic in Leicester say they are receiving an increasing number of calls from people inquiring about procedures like Botox. According to group Save Face, who run a government-approved practitioner register. Increases there. Clinics on their register, like this one in Leicester, say they are busier than ever. I think through COVID, um, you know, through the use of Zoom, um, people are more conscious about how they look. Um, so yes, we have definitely seen a rise in inquiries for cosmetic procedures. I'd say we get at least around 10 to 15 inquiries a day, um, which is quite substantial. It's definitely been at least a good 30 to 40% increase uh, over the past um, few years. Under current rules, there are no mandatory qualifications for non-surgical cosmetic practitioners, and Save Face wants that to change. Scarily, in the UK, anybody can inject these treatments. Um, you know, a lay person that's been on a day's training course can inject you, and there's nothing to stop them from doing that. These treatments are often trivialised. They don't appreciate that they're medical interventions. They just perceive them as everyday beauty treatments. And so that when they see cheap deals and time-limited offers, they think they're getting a bargain, where in actual fact, you know, it ends up costing them far more in the long run because there's a higher chance of complications and adverse reactions. The government told ITV News that they are working to introduce a licensing scheme for non-surgical cosmetic procedures in England, which will make it an offence for anyone to carry out certain non-surgical procedures without a licence. But until the law changes, victims of dodgy work like Michelle will have to live with the sometimes life-changing consequences. Amrit Birdie, ITV News.